please double check that your shoulders are lined up over your hips. Uh, if you're seated, that your feet are flat on the floor, that your back is uh, nice and straight, probably away from the chair. If you're standing, making sure that it's shoulders lined up over your hips, lined up over the arches of your feet. Um, we're going to start with the same breathing exercise we did last time with one addition. This time it's going to be four counts in. You're going to hold it for four counts. Then you're going to take two sips of air and then exhale on a uh, hiss for four counts. Together with me, one, two, three, four. Breathe in. Hold it. Two sips. And out. And in. Hold. Two sips. And out. And in. And hold. Two sips. And out. Once more. In. Three. And. And hold. Two. Three. Four. Two sips. And out. Two. Three. Four. And done. Each time you're doing that, you should be feeling that expansion in your lower abdomen uh, with that hand that's positioned just above your navel. I want you to grab your mouthpiece now. Um, we're going to do um, four, um, after we set the mouthpiece, doing uh, a count, a breath on count four, hold for four counts, rest for three counts, breath on count four, hold for four counts, uh, and repeat three times in a row. Uh, for the moment, it does not matter what pitch you're on. Your goal is to make a clean, consistent pitch um, on the mouthpiece each time. Again, remembering holding the, between the mouthpiece at the base of the stem between the thumb and first finger. Ready? One, two, three. Once more, two, three, there we go. I'm going to do the same sort of exercise, only this time, um, as you're holding that note out, we're going to do two counts on an upper partial. Then I want you to relax the embouchure, thinking of going from E down to A, allowing that pitch to drop, and then bringing it back up. So it'll be um, two counts on the high pitch, two counts on a lower pitch, four counts on the high pitch. It'll sound like this. Again, does not matter for today which pitch it is on. Our goal is that we're getting an adjustment. It may be just a whole step. It may be an entire fifth. Either of those is perfectly fine for today. Here we go. One, two, three, breathe in. Rest, four, one, two, three, breathe in, rest, four, one, two, three, Once more, and one, two, three. There we go. Grab your instrument right now. As you set your mouthpiece in the instrument, make sure that we're doing a quarter turn uh, on it so that the mouthpiece does not get stuck. Similar to what we did last time with positioning the um, mouthpiece 
and setting um, the corners of the mouth, we're going to do some experimentation with the instrument here today. Um, importantly, as we play, we want to bring the instrument to our bodies rather than our bodies to the instrument. So set your body, shoulders over your hips, and then bring the instrument to your face. And for right now, I want you to find a comfortable, relaxed position for it to be at. Um, we're going to play four counts. Does not matter today what partial it is on, um, but looking for a consistent, clear sound. One, two, three, breathe, and... Now, I want you to think about positioning the instrument a little bit differently. So now, I want you to angle the instrument down so that there's more weight on your bottom lip. Ready? One, two, three. You'll likely find it hard to focus the sound when you're doing that. Um, I want you now to do the opposite and position more of the weight on the upper lip and the instrument's going to angle slightly up as you play. One, two, three. There we go. Um, I want you to take 30 seconds on your own right now and experiment with that position from high down to low. Your job is to find a spot where the instrument relaxes comfortably in your body, avoiding any sharp angles in your wrists um, in particular, and where you can get a smooth, consistent tone without feeling tension in the embouchure, in the neck, and in the upper body. Take 30 seconds to experiment. Once more. I want you to memorize how that felt making sure that we're centering the mouthpiece in the middle of the embouchure, making sure that we're setting the corners of the mouth in a position that is both relaxed and firm, and then setting the instrument in a position as you bring it to your body that makes sure that everything stays relaxed and you can get a clear, consistent tone. Let's do four counts on um, whatever partial you're able to get right now. One, two, three. Rest. Two. Three. Rest. Two. Three. Rest. Two. Three. Once more. Three. And freeze. I want you to think about where your body is positioned. Are your hips lined up over or underneath your shoulders? Do you have smooth lines without collapsing down either wrist? Are the shoulders relaxed and low? And can you breathe freely? Once more, taking this position, um, four counts on that single note. One, two, three. Thank you. I want you to continue practicing on experimenting about placement so that you can consistently find a spot that is relaxed, that allows you to get a clear, full tone, um, and sustain that tone over four counts.